Welcome back everyone to another episode of Tech Tuesday. Today we are comparing the Samsung A60 Evo and we are putting it up against the Western Digital Blue. So there are a few topics that we're going to cover today. The look of the SSDs, the price of the SSDs, how fast, how slow, what's better, and what is going to give you the most bang for your buck. So in this first test where we compare the look of the SSD, I think the winner is going to be pretty clear. So we got the Western Digital Blue SSD. It's a black SSD, but then it has the white and the blue and the uneven slash going through it, which really kind of doesn't work with you if you try to make a custom PC and coordinate all the colors on the inside. This SSD is going to throw it off and you're going to have to hide it in the back. But if you're putting it in a laptop or a MacBook, something like that, yeah, sure, get this SSD, stick it in there, and no one's ever going to see it again. Now, the Samsung SSD does look uh, much better, in my opinion. Again, it's a black SSD, but it's got the white Samsung lettering, and then it's got a little gray square, and that's it. The gray square doesn't really help the look of the SSD either. It's there to let you know that it's not a pro SSD. In that case, it would have a red square. So I think the winner between the two SSD looks of them is clearly in Samsung's favor. So for the pricing comparison of the SSDs, because they do, of course, increase in price as you increase their storage capacity, I'm gonna be using the prices for the 250 gigabyte versions of these SSDs. So for the longest time, the Western Digital Blue SSDs have been hanging out at about $79.99 on Amazon, and Samsung's SSDs have been about 10 bucks more expensive, but then they released the 860 Evo and they priced it at the same $79.99. Western Digital responded by dropping their price about five bucks at 75 bucks, at least at the time of this video. So currently it seems like Western Digital is committed to remaining up just a tad cheaper than the Samsung SSDs. So how do these guys compare in actual performance in their speed and their read and write times? Let's take a look. So the 860 Evo has the sequential read write times of 550 megabytes a second for reading and writing times of 520 megabytes a second. Now the Western Digital Blue has sequential read write times of 560 megabytes a second for reading and writing at up to 530 megabytes a second. So the Western Digital Blue just barely squeaks past the Samsung 860 Evo for this test. So in theory, the entire time it would take to read an entire 250 gigabyte solid state drive would be seven minutes and 34 seconds for the 860 Evo and seven minutes and 26 seconds for the Western Digital Blue. It's not much of a difference, in fact, one that I don't think we'll even notice overall. It's less than a 2% difference in the speed of these SSDs. Hey, thank you guys for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. You see, this guy is currently <laughs> number one for Davis on YouTube, and uh, I, can't, I, can't, I can't live with that. We gotta change that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one.